Hey guys, welcome to Cricut. Patterns add so much personality, but did you know that a photo can also be used as a pattern in Cricut Design Space? Let's use photos and patterns to make some fun fridge magnets. All we need are these great Cricut magnet sheets. The magnet is wide on one side, so it will work for the print then cut, with the magnet on the opposite side. Open Cricut Design Space, make sure you're logged in, then click on Create New Project. I want to use a fun shape for our magnet, so let's see what basic shapes are available. Let's make the magnets hexagons. We'll use the edit panel to size the magnets 3.5 inches wide. I want the magnets to feel as though they have a frame, so let's copy the image and then paste to duplicate. Now size the new hexagon to 3 inches wide. We'll want the smaller hexagon to be centered on the larger hexagon. Cricut makes this easy. Click on Select All, open the Align menu, and then just select Center. Done. This is the perfect shape for our magnets. Now all we have to do is add a photo to the center and a pattern to create a frame. So let's upload an image. We have the option to upload an image or a pattern. We're going to be working with uploading patterns. Pattern Fill gives us the option to place our own pattern or photo onto an image using JPEG, Bitmap, PNG, and GIF files. To get started, we'll click on Upload Pattern. Now let's click Browse to access our computer files. We'll be using a photo, so find your file and then just click Open. Name the photo and select themes, styles, and colors that apply to the photo. Now in this case, I'm just selecting photo, but checking multiple tags may make it easier to find images in the future. Now save the file. You'll be taken back to the uploaded images library and a message will inform you that the files have been saved successfully. Click Cancel to close the library. Select the small hexagon to open the Layer Attributes panel. Change this layer to a print. Notice we now have a Patterns option. Click on Patterns. You're now shown all of the patterns available to use on your image. Our uploaded image is shown at the top of the selections. Select our uploaded photo. The photo will appear on your image. The way it appears now needs to be edited. The photo is not large enough to fill the image, so the software duplicates it to fill the space. This is known as tiling. We can make changes to the photo by clicking Edit. We now have options to scale the photo. And don't worry if the photo looks blurry on the screen, the software shows the image in low resolution. When we print the image, the photo will print in high resolution. Scale the photo using the arrows or the slider. Using Pan, move the photo up and down or side to side within the image. I want the girl in the photo to look upright. Use the arrow keys to rotate the image or mirror your image as desired. The tiled image is showing up. Let's continue working on the photo, adjusting scale, pan, and rotate until we're happy with the placement. Clicking inside the design screen will close the layer attributes panel. Now let's add a pattern to the frame. Click on the larger hexagon to open the layer attributes panel and change this layer to a print. Notice again, we now have a patterns option. Click on patterns. Scroll through patterns or select a collection to filter or narrow down the options. Collections give options based on tags. Filters give options based on ownership or color. Let's see what's available under brown. Now, if you don't like the options, that's fine. Click Clear All to remove the filters. Let's use this pattern. Do you know even patterns can be edited? Let's reduce the scale. Once we're happy with our edits, click on the design screen to close the layer attribute panel. You can make as many different magnets as you'd like. Simply duplicate the images and then change the photo. It's so easy. The last step in our design is to make each magnet a single print, then cut image. Select the background and the picture, and in the Layers panel, click Flatten. Repeat for each magnet. Once you're happy with the project, click Save, name the file, then click Save again. Now we're ready to cut our project. If everything looks good to you on the map preview, go ahead and click Go. Place the magnet sheet into your printer and then print the page. Set the material dial on your machine to custom and then select magnet sheet. Place your printed magnet sheet on the mat and then load the mat into your machine. 
Press the Blink and Go button on your machine to begin the cut. Once the cut is finished, we now have our own personalized magnets. Stay tuned for the next video in our tutorial series where I'll teach you how to combine two images together to create a fun t-shirt. Cricut makes it easy to go from inspiration to creation.